Do psilocybin magic mushrooms cause muscular pain, aches, etc.? I'm going to talk about that right now. Um, hey, before I do, I just want to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Um, I'm sorry, I've been away for a little bit and I haven't had time to record a video, but I've been thinking a lot about you guys. First of all, thanks so much for so much of your um, responses and love. I, I, just, I love hearing from you guys. Even if I can't respond to everybody uh, right away, I love hearing from you. So keep those cards and letters coming. Thanks so much. Um, but I was away skiing. Um, I live in Salt Lake and we've got so much skiing around me here, but we decided to go to Big Sky, Montana because I'd never been there and we wanted to try that out. And it was just, it's such a beautiful place. It's so cool. If you ever get a chance to go to Big Sky, Montana, whether you're a skier or not a skier, uh, it's just, it's a really beautiful place. So uh, that was kind of like a little side note there. I don't, I don't know why I got into that, but um, I've noticed something over the past uh, I'm going to say maybe a month or two, that for some reason, um, my legs have been sore and muscular aching and, and just, things, just weird things going on with my legs. Now, I don't know, I don't think it's, I, I do ski a lot, but I don't think it seems to have anything to do with skiing because even a lot of times days go by that I don't ski at all. They just feel weird and actually they feel a little bit better when I ski so I don't in other words I don't think it's related to that I have heard and I've read that it is possible or some people do experience um, muscular pain when they're microdosing or macrodosing when they're using psilocybin mushrooms so um, I've been pretty frustrated with it lately and I, I don't really know what's causing this on and off pain but what I think I'm going to do I'm going to do a little experiment I'm going to um, stop using the magic mushrooms from microdosing for about a week to 10 days. Now, I want to go back to, for a second because I love microdosing. It works really well for me and it's, it's helped me in so many ways, such as um, anxiety, depression, sleep has been better. I've been just feeling more positive about myself. It's, it's, they've been fantastic. So I don't want to minimize that at all. Um, and I'm hoping it's not the mushrooms that are causing my muscular aches but I do want to know and so I've been using them long enough close to a year now that I feel if I take seven to ten days off um, it's the benefits I've received over the past close to a year are not just going to go away um, you don't have to use magic mushrooms every day you don't have to microdose every day to get the full benefits in fact a lot of people stop after a while because they say they gotten everything they need out of it. Now, I don't plan to stop, um, but I do plan to use them only when needed. But I, I do want to take the seven to 10 days off and do kind of like a little personal experiment. And if my muscle ache totally goes away after the seven to 10 days, um, then what I'll do, I'll start microdosing again. And then if it comes back, um, even though it's not a scientific study, it's, it's, um, It'll be pretty anecdotal still, just one person, one, one little test. But still, that would give me some information. If the pain comes, if the aches and pains come back as soon as I start microdosing again, um, and then I'll probably stop and probably just see if I can really correlate the aches to the magic mushrooms. Then I'll be pretty sure if it is or if it isn't. So I'm going to... I've actually started because I haven't microdosed probably for a few days now anyway, only because I was away and I didn't feel I needed to. Um, and my legs do feel a little bit better now. But again, I, I, don't, I don't know whether that's what it is. And hopefully it's not. Um, but I'm going to do this little guinea pig, on, guinea pig experiment on myself. And I'm going to report back to you as soon as I have the results and the data. Data, it's only... There's no data. It's only one person and one anecdotal study. So it's not really data, but it's information, let's say, um, whether this is working for me or not. So um, if you're microdosing, if you're using it and you haven't had any problems, keep doing, keep doing it. By the way, this is not medical advice. Remember, this is friend to friend, friend to friend. <laughs> But um, I got I to slip that in as often as I can, because I, even though I am a doctor, I'm a retired dentist, I, I don't want this YouTube channel to be construed as somebody giving 
real medical advice. It, it, I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you what, what's working for me, what's not working for me. And, and I'm very transparent about it. Like if something like this, the muscular pain, if this takes place, I want you to know about it because if anything good or bad happens, I, I want to be the first to tell you. So um, I'm going to start the experiment. I already started actually a few days. I'll get back to you and report and let you know um, every step along the way, how I'm feeling, how the muscle aches are doing. And then uh, when I do start microdosing again, let's see what happens to the muscular aches there. And then we'll just take it from there. We'll have a little conversation about it and, um, and see. I'm not planning to stop microdosing just because it's changed my life so much, but I will just have to be aware if I think it is causing the pains, I'll just have to be aware that, okay, this is something that goes along with it that I, I'm just going to have to accept and work with and figure out, maybe use some I don't know, CBD, uh, ibuprofen, whatever I need to use to, to, to help uh, lessen the pain. Sometimes it gets, it just gets weird. And I, I, it, but um, it's not, it's not terrible. It hasn't really stopped me from doing anything, but bad enough that I feel it and it's not comfortable. So that's where we are right now. Um, I'll let you know, experiment has started. If you haven't followed me yet, make sure you follow me and press um, you know, notifications. So you'll get a notification every time I come out with a brand new video, which Hopefully now will be a little bit more often than it's been because I just had to take a little bit of time off just because I've been doing things. <laughs> so, again, I appreciate every single one of you, including you. I appreciate you. And um, if you've commented, I've read your comments. I just possibly haven't gotten a chance to respond yet. But that means uh, I still love you. I'm Dr. Dave. Talk to you soon.